the lights on chalk sound, um, most of them are not working, and it was promised that they would be working by January and to no avail. No, they're not working yet, and if you know the area is lit up more, um, we light our villa on dust to dawn lights every night. Every villa should be lit. Every home should be lit at night. You know, I, I know it costs a little bit of money, but not that much money. Uh, if, if if the properties are all lit up, even the the landscaping in the bush, you're much safer. When you're looking out and you can see into the bush and you can see what's going on, you feel much safer. During a press conference held by the Chalk Sound Neighborhood Watch and police last week, a couple and neighbors to one of the Taurus families that was recently robbed in that community, Dan and Debbie Dawson, said that their community is in dire need of proper lighting and they have repeatedly asked for repairs. However, in a written press statement from the sole provider of electricity on Providence Alley's, the Provo Power Company, officials made it clear that providing sufficient light in that community is not their responsibility. They say it's the government's job. In the statement, CEO of the company, Edenton Powell, said, quote, PPC understands the concerns of residents with regards to the lack of proper illumination in those areas and would be more than willing to work with government to approve the situation. PPC understands the concerns of residents with regards to lack of power illumination in those areas and would be more than willing to work with government to improve the situation. The company also made it clear that they are not responsible for the upkeep of the ornamental lamps located along the Grace Bay Road. Meanwhile, Director of the Engineering Maintenance Services for the GCI government, Alfred Smith, declined to comment on camera but told News 4 that his department is responsible for the lights and chalk sound and said that they have asked residents in the past to report any faults with the street lights to the department, and so far they haven't received any. Smith said that employees from his department make monthly checks in the area to install the lights, and since he does not monitor those checks directly, he could not comment on whether or not during their last check street lights needed repairs. He went on to say that he has asked his team to review the area tonight. For WIV 4 News, I'm Nakira John.